Hello again everybody, this is the uh, second in a six part video series where we're first going to perform character recognition and then apply that in a uh, license plate recognition program and in this uh, video we're going to perform character recognition in Python. So let's go ahead and go to the uh, GitHub site that I set up for this uh, project here. So GIT, HUB, MICRO, microcontrollers and more and take out the spaces and that one as well and then we're going to go here and then repositories. And I should mention as a prerequisite for this video, um, please perform the Python installation and configuration uh, with OpenCV steps in this here, OpenCV 3 Windows 10 installation tutorial. And up here is a YouTube playlist linked to this. And if you're not familiar with using uh, Python and OpenCV, this is definitely the video here you want to check out, OpenCV 3 Windows 10 installation tutorial, uh, part two Python. So uh, continuing on today, I'm going to presume that you've uh, already performed that and are familiar with uh, Python and OpenCV. So continuing on here, we're going to go to OpenCV3 KNN Character Recognition Python. And let's take a quick look at what's in this directory. So uh, in docs and presentation, I believe there's only one document here. Yes, uh, KNN Overview. PNG, and this is uh, sort of a, one single slide that I made here that's a very rough overview of the KNN algorithm. If you're interested in more about the theory behind KNN or how OpenCV implements it, uh, I'll leave viewers to uh, refer to other sources for that as applicable. Uh, if you do some Googling on pretty much any of these terms on here, it'll, it'll take you to the necessary sites, but uh, I'd like to stick to an implementation focus in my videos, so I'd rather not spend any more time on the theory. Hopefully this slide is enough to get you started if you're curious. So uh, let's take a look at the rest of the repository contents here. So first we're going to run generate data and that's going to generate classifications.txt and uh, flatten images.txt. Uh, I posted a copy of these here so you could compare yours to mine if you like. Um, or if you're doing a future program you can just download these and use them how they are so you don't have to run gen data. But uh, we're going to actually generate classifications.txt and flatten images that text today when we run gen data. And then when we run a training test, we're going to test that on test one, test two, and test three. And training characters.png is the training image we're going to use when we run gen data. And then uh, this file here really isn't necessary anymore. Tra training characters small test, uh, when I was debugging the uh, program, I, I just uh, used this as a quick training uh, characters image so that I didn't have to type in all the characters to save some time. Uh, it does take a little bit of time to type in the characters as you're going to see shortly, but let's go ahead and implement it. So if we go to um, wherever we like to save our Python programs to, so in my case that would be documents and then Python programs and make sure that's nice and blank there. So we're going to go ahead and let's see here. We'll just call the repository, uh, we'll call the directory name the same as the repository name. Okay, that sounds good. Take out the space, and then we're going to jump in there. And then we're going to uh, make some empty files here. So, and of course, we could just download these, but I'm trying to show how to uh, build the project, you know, from scratch uh, for those who are interested. So, yes, of course, we want to change the name, and then train and test.py, and then we're going to go to new text document there as well and take out the space. Yes, of course, we want to change the name, so we're going to go ahead and open Gen Data with um, PyCharm. And while we're waiting for PyCharm to open, if we go to download.zip and open, so uh, here's the download.zip, and here's the directory we just created, so we're going to grab uh, all these images here. We're going to grab, okay, Python, uh, PyCharm just opened, we're going to add uh, test one, two, three, and then also training characters, and we're going to copy those into the project directory we just created, and we can close out of the download zip at this time. So let's go ahead and move this window over, and now we're going to go back to the GitHub site. So we're going to go to gendata.py, and then raw, and we're simply going to copy and paste out of there into gendata. And let's see, I believe we can go ahead and run it now. So for PyCharm, that's uh, Alt Shift F10 and then gen data and give it just a second here and there we go so uh, let's take a look at these images here this is the thresholded um, image that is a threshold version of I should be more specific here that's a threshold version of training characters .png. and uh, this image here is 
training or training underscore numbers dot png rather and uh, this here is that same image only we've drawn a red box around each character as we're entering it and then these two uh, images up at the top uh, this image here is simply a crop of what's currently in red and this image here is this image resized to a width of 20 and a height of 30 so we're going to go ahead and enter the characters now and uh, you do want to bear in mind that of course, an uppercase versus lowercase character, are those are different ASCII numbers, so for sure you want to hold down shift as you're entering the capital letters, and then you want to let off of shift as you're entering the numbers. So I'll just go ahead and call out the first row of characters and numbers here, and then I'll fast forward through the rest. So uh, Zebra, Tango, Robert, Paul, uh, Mary, Frank, Edward, Delta, Baker, Alpha, Yankee, X-Ray, Whiskey, Victor, Uniform, Sierra, Quebec, Omega, Nancy, Lima, Kilo, Juliet, Igloo, Hector, George, Charlie, let off of shift now, 9876532041. And, and at this point I'm going to fast forward. 9876532041. And there we go. So now if we look in the project directory, we will find that we have just created these two files here, classifications.txt and flattened underscore images.txt. So now we can go ahead and do train and test. So we'll simply right click on train and test here, open in PyCharm. And then we're going to jump back to our GitHub repository here. So we'll go ahead and go back one. And now we're going to go to train and test.py and then choose raw. And then we're going to copy and paste that code into train and test. And there we go. And yes, we do want to edit those files. So we just pasted that in. And now we're all set there. So I believe we can go ahead and run it. So control or rather alt shift and F10 in PyCharm runs. So now we're going to choose train and test. And actually, before we do that, I should mention by default, I believe this is set to use test1, so we should see the ABC123, so uh, Alt-Shift-F10, and then train and test. And there we go. So here's our image, ABC123, and then down here we've printed out the characters, ABC123. So that worked out for us. And as long as we've come this far, we might as well try the other two. So there's test2, train and test, and DEF456, and DEF456, so there we go. And then we'll do three, so three, and then run. And then XYZ789, XYZ789. So there we go, that was uh, successful. And so the next video we're going to implement the same project in Visual Basic, and then we'll be on to the license plate recognition. So I'll see everybody in the next one.